Hey guys, welcome back to Murad and Run. And in today's video, we will be covering the most beautiful campus that we have in Singapore, the Nanyang Technological University. In this video, I will be giving you a complete review of this university, and finally, I'll be giving it a ranking, as we did for other universities, NUS, SMU, all the other SPJN and NCR. We gave ranking to all the universities of Singapore. We will also be giving a rating to NTU, and finally, deciding whether we should be coming to NTU or not. So, without further ado, let's directly jump into it. Now looking at this beautiful building the strengths of NTU is in chemistry environmental sciences artificial education communication computer sciences and engineering but then this building is the most beautiful part of NTU it's called the hive now let's move to the next part of NTU talking about NTU it has a 90% placement rate which is actually very good and then there are some subjects like engineering and economics arts with education science medicine all of those subjects have a 100% placement rate here in NTU wait now we're outside the NTU business school and did you know that NTU has been able to churn out five unicorns a unicorn is a business that has a valuation of more than a billion dollars it's ideally a startup also the research citations are so good that out of the best four research citations all across the world one is by Nanyang Technological University another good thing with NTU business school Another good thing with Nanyang Business School is that it has amazing partnerships. It has partnerships with Hyundai. Hyundai NTU partnership is considered very good all across the world. Other than that, you have partnerships with Oh, wait. Yeah. So you have partnerships with Global Foundries. You also have a partnership with NTU small and medium enterprise agencies of the government here in NTU. There are some government funded laboratories here in NTU. So one is by Singtel Cognitive and Artificial Intelligence. The other one is by Surbana Jurong NTU Corporate Lab. And there's one by Rolls Royce NTU Corporate Journey as well. And, uh, I have four years working in the industry. I used to work for the industry. I worked for dollars. These are all the MBA students here in Nanyang Technological University. Oh, what do you like about staying on the campus? What I like about North Hill is it's really clean. And oh, definitely very clean. I mean, you should definitely have a look at this campus. I would say amongst the cleanest campuses in Singapore till what I've seen. I mean, we still have to visit two more campuses, so probably they might be a bit more cleaner than this. But till now, we can say with certainty that this is amongst the cleanest campuses. Did you know average salary of a Nanyang Business School student is six thousand dollars? So that is somewhere around seventy-two thousand dollars every year. Should I get my admission done here in Nanyang Business School? Probably. Moving ahead, we're now outside a beautiful auditorium by NTU. And a fun fact about NTU: NTU's professor Stephen was in the most influential people list, top hundred most influential people list. That has only politicians, the most important politicians of the world. We had Dr. Stephens, a professor of NTU, in that list, in the top hundred list. That's an achievement. I don't think many universities have that achievement. We're outside the College of Science, and they have a hundred percent placement in the field of medicine. That's interesting. Moving ahead. One thing in the NTU campus is that I saw absolutely amazing cars. I saw a Maserati. Now you here you had a Mercedes. We have a Mini Cooper there. So people, even though the university is not that expensive, ideally you'll be spending somewhere around 15 to 20 lakhs in this university. But then it feels like rich kids are coming here. Why? I think probably because of the university. And probably because of the proximity to China, there are many Chinese students who have extreme wealth who come to these universities. Why? Because in Singapore, getting a car is very expensive, very, very, very expensive. But then still, you have these students having these cars. That means rich family students are coming to Singapore. Here we have the block of civil and environmental engineering. And let's look where we have to go to next. Robotics lab? Do Okay, let's see where we go. We have a North Spine Plaza here. I think we can get something to eat from here. Let's see. Something house steamboat restaurant. It is pork and here we have Walk Express. Ooh. Okay, let's move inside.
Oh, one thing I hope you guys know that in Singapore, chewingums are banned. So I just have to eat Mentos. That's the business park. Let's look at the connectivity. Sky corridor. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Looks good. Here we are. in this part and that's the future development part okay so we're now outside the chinese heritage center and it feels like the best place to start with the ntu ratings so Without further ado, let's get into the ranking of NTU. Where does NTU stand in Singapore? So NTU is a huge campus and the number of courses available here are 177. As you saw, we have so many buildings, so many things. That's the high building. I don't know if you can see it from here, but that's the high building. Such a huge campus. So out of five points, we'll have to give it 4.5 points. Talking about affordability, an average course in NTU is for 10 to 20 lakh INR and an average MBA or a medicine course is for 35 lakhs. So out of 10 points, we'll be giving it 7 points. Talking about location advantage, since it's in middle of Singapore and Singapore is just a 6 hour flight away from India, I would give it high points in location. And wow, look at that beautiful waterfall. And then you have cultural diversity as well. So out of 5 points, I'll give it 4.5 points. Talking about beautiful campuses, it is amongst the most beautiful campuses that I've seen. Yes, definitely better than NUS. And you can have a look at the water. These are all fishes. Yeah, you cannot go fishing in this water. But then yeah, these are all live fishes. And we have so many lakes here in this university itself. It's amazing. And talking about in-campus facilities, there are 25 residence halls and there are two more graduate halls here. So in terms of point ratings out of five, we'll be giving it five. Five because I feel like this is way much more beautiful than NUS. NUS is like only buildings. They don't have anything natural there, but then it is such a beautiful campus. Loved it. Talking about employability rate, since it has an employability rate of 90%, which is very good, but not as good as in US, which is at 94%, we will be giving it 6.5 points. But next, talking about average salaries, average salaries here is $6,000. So out of 10 points, we will be giving it 7.5 points. Okay, now I'm at the Nanyang Lake. Yeah, this university has an entire lake. And talking about entrepreneurial status, it has 540 companies and five unicorns. So rankings, Let's give it 4 points out of 5. In terms of research opportunity and scope, it has 10 corporate labs, 54 research centers under the college and school, and 30 joint centers. I mean, it's amazing. Look at this, so beautiful. I mean, I had to stop speaking, right? Next, talking about scholarships, we're making an entire video about scholarships. So yeah, you have to check it out. And talking about scholarships, it has 56 scholarships. So out of 10 points, I would be giving it 9 points or out of 5 points, I would be giving it a 4.5. It again has 25% international students, which is a very healthy rate. So out of 5 points, we'll be giving it 4.5 points. Next, talking about the acceptance rate. So acceptance rate is ideally a double-edged sword. Why? Because if you have a very high acceptance rate, you're letting in students that are not that qualified. And if you have a low acceptance rate, then it just is not made to sense to apply to that university, right? So NTU has an acceptance rate of somewhere around 25%, which is ideally considered fine. Not that it is very low, not that it is very high. So I would actually prefer applying to NTU. At the same time, NUS has an acceptance rate of 5 to 7%. Then I would be thinking that it's a bit tricky. Should I be investing my money of application while applying to NUS? So that's a question I have. So with regards to getting an acceptance rate out of 5 points, I would be giving 4.5 points to NTU because it is worth applying for. Finally, Murad points. Would Murad want to come here and study? Honestly, I might. So if I had to give it points, I'll give it 7 points. 
Why? Because it made me feel like that I'd want to study here. It has a very beautiful campus, amazing people. I met some of my followers here, so we have my followers here studying. I have three followers here studying, so I already know some people here. Okay, so just talk about your experience. Sure. So I've been with BlackRock for about five years before coming here. Uh, I was a programmer. I was working on the Aladdin platform, which is what BlackRock uses, uh, along with a few other asset managers to manage their money. Um, for me, I've always liked defining strategy, so I wanted to get into product strategy, product management roles, which is why I thought MBA was the right uh, path for me, and I picked NTU because. Uh, since I wanted to stay in pure tech and I've heard a lot about, I had heard a lot about the professors here, especially for the subjects that I was interested in. And uh, so far, like I have been really uh, impressed by the uh, professors, the teaching style, uh, as well as the uh, course plan, which we have. So it's uh, it's been helping me a lot. And how are the placements like? Uh, so for placements, uh, Currently, uh, a lot of people here are have either gotten like part-time internships. So, uh, NTU's MBA program is like uh, 12 to 18 months. So you can finish it in 12 months, and if you get a full-time job, you can graduate within one year. Or you have the path to go for an optional internship or exchange for another six months, which defers your graduation by another year. So uh, for me, currently, I have a part-time internship starting January with a data science firm uh, based out of Philippines, like headquartered in Singapore. Uh, so uh, the, the placement scene, I would say, is pretty good. Uh, the, the, we have like a GSCDO, which is the Graduate Studies uh, Career Development Office, which helps a lot. Uh, even like, I think during our first month, uh, companies like Grab, Google, uh, a lot Anyone of campus? Uh, not for placements but for like career talks and like we had like a, I would say like a lunch roulette with them where we talk to different uh, people from HR product strategy or engineering teams things like that so it, it just just to make some connections so I think they provide us with a lot of resources but at, in the end it's up to us to utilize them and I think the cohort is uh, smart enough to utilize all those connections and uh, get those, uh, you know, interviews, uh, which is very important because a lot of people come here with the mindset that, okay, like at, at coming from India, right, every single company comes on campus. But here, like, you need to try by yourself. But I think, like, if you do that, uh, the opportunities are there. And that was your review for NTU. Oh, also, I would like to thank the Seed team. Without them, this entire trip would have not been possible. I mean, the honest, brutal reviews that I'm giving of these universities is just because of the SEED team. Thank you so much, guys.